Hello everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a look at the bar. The bar spawned in the vintage spawns. So you can find the vintage spawn not only in the military bases and take in mind they're not very common so you will find more green boxes than vintage spawn. But the good thing about the vintage spawn is they can also spawn inside any town, especially where you see stuff like the holy boxes or in the long story houses. So look there and you can find the 20 round magazine, the 306 and the weapon, the bar. But take in mind if you don't find the ammunition and this is possible, sometimes you just find the weapon. You can also use the 5 round clips that you find around all the, all the map in every city. The first thing you will notice when using the bar is that it's huge. It's a huge weapon, it's very heavy and uh, if you move around with that weapon your movement speed will be very slow so, so take that in mind you will be very slow it's not the best when you want to move around the town and you know just loot or you want to you know go from a town to another town there's a lot of open space if you do that take the weapon on your back i see many players always with the weapon at ready even when uh, running in open space. This is the worst mistake you can do. You are an easy target like that. When shooting the bar, if you're not laying down, you will notice the huge recoil. So if you are not in position and somebody takes you by surprise and you have to shoot somebody, always shoot in small bars. If you try to go full auto and trying to maintain the recoil, you will accomplish nothing. You will just make a lot of noise and nothing else. So with the bar we have a huge weapon, really heavy, with a lot to recoil and also the ammunition is not that easy to find. So why should I pick the bar over something like the M4 A3 assault rifle for example? With M4 A3 you have a big magazine, 30 round magazine, you have more movement speed, you can control the weapon very easily, you can just go full automatic and do fine with the M4 A3. But what people don't realize is that the bar can be a killing machine. If you take by surprise a full group of people or somebody in a car, you can take them down in seconds. The 556 has really good performance but doesn't have the stopping power of the 306. With the 306, if you hit somebody two times on the center mass, they are dead. You have up to 60% damage on the center mass, while the M4A3, the 556, you have up to 30% damage. So to kill somebody, you have to shoot multiple bullets. And sometimes you want to be able to kill somebody very fast. And for medium range, I think the bar is perfect, not only because of the stopping power, but also because you can put the vintage optics, you can use the Weaver, you can use the Zaif from the Car 98, you can use the Unelta scopes, and this helps a lot for long range engagements. Also, before the changes to the ballistics, the 306 was really, really bad at distance. You will see after 600 meters the bullet drifting to the right. Unless you had match grade, all the sniper rifles, the hunting sniper rifles that use 306 were really bad because of the performance of the 306. So if you didn't have a match grade 306, they were pretty much useless, even if you had the best hunting rifle available. But now this 306 with the new changes to the ballistic has improved a lot. You can see a distance performing very well, so I believe with this bar, you can go on full automatic with a bipod and lay down bursts of fire and be very accurate at the distance and I believe this can be really devastating if you find a group of players that is unaware of your presence or somebody in a car. You can be a real threat to them. So guys, in order to make this weapon shine, you need to be in a good position, make use of your bipods if you can. So. In some situation you might not need to lay down, you can use your bipods and you can go from medium to medium to long range engagements without any problems, take that in mind. But we all know the breaking point is always a surprise, so you might see somebody popping up on you and take in mind you have 
full automatic so you can take them down very easily. The only problem may be if you find a group of players you need to move from cover to cover while you move or try to flank them you are very slow so you may be a easy target. Also another downside may be that you don't have single fire mode on the weapon. So thank you guys for watching, I hope this video helped you and see you on the next one.